take our friends and fans on a trip into Dreamland, Magic and Michael. Jordan. Michael Jordan. This is a matchup that everybody wanted. Jordan for three. And a Jordan by the name. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't believe it. This place is pandemonium. He is hot. Woo! See, this is what Michael lived for. He wanted this challenge. There's Jordan. I think you can just sit back and, and say, ah, oh, and wow. The Chicago Bulls have won the NBA championship for the second straight season. The Bulls try to become only the third team in NBA history to put off a three-peat. Here comes Jordan. Jordan to Ron Marley. Good ball. He's got it. Michael, he's going to try to take over now. He's got it. To go the shot clock, 15 in the ball game. Michael will take it. He's fouled. He scores. Superman back in the building. 55 for MJ. I never said we had to stop him. Oh, we can't stop focus him. Focus on Nobody him. can stop him. 43 seconds to go in the game. And we're down by 20. Here's Jordan extending. Michael Jordan driving the lane. The Bulls win the championship for the third year. Michael Jordan and the Chicago Bulls have climbed the Mount Olympus of the NBA. Michael Jordan, above and beyond. Michael Jordan's quest for a third consecutive championship had been his most grueling. After a summer of helping the Dream Team bring home a gold medal from Barcelona, he had no time to recover before launching into the 92-93 season to defend the Bulls' NBA crown. From outward appearances, though, he seemed no worse for wear. Oh, spins the oh, arm! Oh, oh, by oh. MJ! Makes the move on the baseline. Oh, and the left! Oh, oh. To Pippen, three on two to Jordan. And a foul! Oh, yes, it's hard! Yes, it's hard! But while Michael continued to light up the nightly highlight reels, his success was not coming as easily as it seemed. No matter how great you are, you lose some of the edge each and every time that you do it. Well, we were going, going against the odds for the third time, uh, and we were losing something. I think mentally, we were battling against something that we really couldn't see. If Michael was fighting something, he seemed to be winning. Leading the Bulls to the top of their division, he grabbed his seventh scoring title and reached a historic personal milestone. And yet, with each game, the joy of victory seemed to be less. During the course of that year, you could tell fatigue and, you know, a loss of attentiveness to the game sometimes wore out. The travel, the expectations, the ups, the downs of the course of a year. And I think that was what was taking a toll on him. Mystified by the loss of his usual zest for the game, Michael called on his closest advisor, the man who had been at his side for all of his past triumphs, his father James. My father came out and stayed with me for about a week. We really got deep into the conversation about possibly walking away from the game. But with the playoffs at hand, Jordan hoped he would be revitalized by the welcome pressure of the postseason. And the opponent who awaited him in the semifinals could not have been more promising. Well, for some reason, Cleveland's always been a place where I always have risen to excel. The inbounds pass comes into Jordan. Here's Michael at the foul line. A shot on Elo. Good! The Bulls win! They win! Now, four years later, Jordan would once more use Cleveland as his personal showcase. Oh, what a pass from Jordan! And with time running out in the series, clinching game and the score tied, he would once again provide his trademark dramatics. Passing your seat bounce. Here we go, folks. The season is on the line. Six, five, four, Michael Strip got it back. Three, two, Michael. 
falls, fires. Yeah! Oh, makes it again! The Bulls win. He looks at the crowd. At the buzzer. This crowd is stunned. Instead of leaving Michael with a feeling of elation, however, his latest heroics seemed only to highlight how much times had changed. It wasn't quite the same because pretty much everyone expected it. You know, when you do something so often in a building, now it becomes an expectation of the fans and, and, and of yourself. In the Eastern Conference Finals, Jordan was again spectacular. Though the New York Knicks would claw their way to victories in the series' first two games, Jordan refused to let Chicago fall, personally turning the tide and leading them to victory in six games. There's Jordan on the plate. Yes! Even as he tried to revel in finishing off his longtime rival, however, Jordan quickly found the burden of public scrutiny overshadowing his triumph. What Jordan does in his off time is consuming the Chicago media. And the New York media, and I suppose the national media. That's enough. I mean, that's, I mean if, if my life comes to a point where it's scrutinized what I do in my free time, then, you know, there's no need to even talk to you guys. They were, in essence, sneaking behind my back trying to find about every negative aspect in my life. I thought that was truly unfair and, and very distracting. With the Bulls on the verge of a third consecutive title. Welcome to the NBA Finals. In the case of the Chicago Bulls, it's welcome back. Michael put all distractions aside. Michael has been unreal. Setting a new final scoring record, averaging over 40 points a game. He seemed to have regained his old intensity. Jordan now looks like he is going to drive every time he gets his hand on the ball until they stop him. Man, Michael Jordan shot the ball 43 times. Pippen ahead to Jordan. Jordan on a breakaway, and there's a highlight reel as he jams it in. Damn. Jordan, yes! Leading the Bulls past the Suns in six games, he would garner a third straight finals MVP. It's all over. The Chicago Bulls have three straight NBA championships. But even in his moment of triumph, Michael had again begun to ponder his future. After we won the championship, you know, I sat in on the floor and just reminisced about the whole season and the, and the years that I've had at the game of basketball and where my, my life was and my conversations with my father in the past. I felt this could be a good opportunity you know, for me to step away and, um, and go do other things. So I enjoyed the moment for the moment, but uh, in the back of my mind, I knew that that was probably my last game, and no one really knew except for my father and myself. Get it, man. That's what, that's what bringing me into this world. After a summer sorting out his feelings, Michael began to seriously weigh the decision he had been struggling with for so long.